another day starting way too late. It is just about noon and today I'm doing a whole video on the Lipstick Queen lipstick in Nothing But The Truth. So this lipstick is from their Nothing But The Nudes line which is really cute. So they have three lipsticks and it's The Truth, The Whole Truth, and Nothing But The Truth and I have Nothing But The Truth. It's a little cheesy but I like it. I think the reason why I'm like overlooking the cheese factor on the naming is because it looks so sleek. Like if this was no shade on Too Faced. I hate their packaging so much. It's so over the top, girly to the point of being quite childish. So if they had done something to the same effect, even using the same names, and they had like really bright pink packaging with lots of hearts and heart-shaped bullets, like stuff like that, I would not be about it. But this, I mean, this looks super classy. Also, can we talk about the fact that I'm wearing a nude lipstick? I never, ever, ever wear nudes and I am loving this. It's quite a beige nude and they actually call it a beautiful beige nude. The whole truth is a perfect peachy nude, which is way too peach for my taste. And the truth is a pretty pink nude. I think the reason why I actually like this one is because it's like a nude-ish shade but it's quite rosy and it's dark enough on me where it doesn't like make my lips disappear. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and read what Lipstick Queen has to say about this lipstick and show you the application process. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Featuring three gorgeous shades with individual interpretations of what makes the perfect nude. A rich texture delivers the perfect amount of pigment with an ideal sheen to show off your nude. Enriched with natural oils, waxes, antioxidant, vitamin E, these smooth, luxe, and comfortable nudes are supercharged with hydrating nutrients to impart a modern vinyl look and feel to the lips. Effortlessly chic and universally flattering, this is a collection for the nude obsessed and the nuances that go into a beautiful nude experience. So obviously with only three shades, the universally flattering thing is a little bit hard because with with the like whole range and depth of so many different skin tones that there are, are there going to be three shades that will work universally on anybody? Obviously not. But you could also argue that for me this is not necessarily a nude but more of just like a kind of rosy lipstick, but it would be like a true nude for someone who has a darker complexion than I do. So take that, you know, with a grain of salt. The lipstick went on super smooth. You can tell that it definitely has a lot of emollients in it. It was like very smooth to go on the lips, but creamy enough to impart like actual color. So you know when you have like a really moisturizing lipstick and it just kind of like sweeps across the lips and you don't actually get any color put down? This feels like it's very creamy, almost like it's like melting into your lips. Obviously there's quite a lot of shine to it, but I don't know if I would call that a vinyl shine. Like vinyl to me looks very wet very extremely shiny, almost like the, like the Clé de Peau, what was the heck was that called? Like the Clé de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouge, which I'll link wherever it goes. That had an incredibly vinyl shine, like very extraordinarily, very, very shiny. This I would call more of a cream shine, but you know, we'll see how long it's going to last. Other than that, let's look real quick again. So it says the perfect amount of pigment which is not really much to go off because what is perfect? Is it totally fully pigmented and 100% that color or is it slightly less than that or is it very sheer? You can't really say a perfect pigment and know exactly what they're talking about. That being said, it's, I mean, that's pretty darn close to full pigmentation, so it is very comfortable. I can't really feel it on my lips unless I like rub my lips together, so that is great in my book. I hate when you can like feel a lipstick on your lips, especially if it feels heavy, which some like heavy creamy lipsticks can. But we are going to see just how long this guy is going to wear and I will check back in in a few hours. Okie dokie. So it is just after 3.15 and the lipstick is doing really well. I feel like I can't really tell though where it's wearing away because it stayed super creamy, super emollient, and not waxy but I want to say there's just like a tiny like hint of a waxy feel. So every once in a while I would like look in the mirror to check to see how it's doing and it would look like it was starting to like settle into my lip lines a little bit but then I just like smush my lips together and it totally evens out and looks like perfectly perfect. You can see there's still some shine left so it's still kicking but I do think that I have been losing some of the color because it transfers like crazy. <laughs> I would show you with like a back of the hand kiss situation but I feel like if I did that now I would just like kiss off all of the lipstick. So it's absolutely not transfer proof. It goes on to everything. So keep in mind if you are going to be like taking this out on a date or something, 
You might want to like take it with you on your date that you're gonna get lipstick all over them. You never know. But that is it for this check-in and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so here we are at 6.30, almost on the nose. You can never see. There you go, 6.30. And I'm just about to eat dinner, but there's still a little bit of lipstick left. Because this transfers so much, I am 100% fully confident it's not going to make it through dinner. And therefore, I'm just going to wipe it off before dinner, so I'm not going to be eating a bunch of lipstick. But it is, surprisingly, there's still some shine left. There's definitely still some color left, although it has started... It is more noticeable now that it has worn off. So right now we're at like six and a half hours of wear. I personally probably would have reapplied it about an hour and a half ago, so like right on the five hour mark to keep up like the really nice, glossy, creamy lip look but otherwise from that this is a just dreamy lipstick it wore so well i normally do not get this long of wear out of creamy style lipsticks so you can color me impressed on that and i definitely want to check out more from the lipstick queen line i have a couple other of their lipsticks but they're not in the same formula so i will be testing those shortly and let you know what I think. Anyway, the whole write-up and review will be on the blog, lipstickaday.com, later on today. Check it out, and I will see you next time. Bye.